Hey there, this is Akshit Nadan. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we are going to see how can you apply animations in your Flutterflow application. And this is going to be very easy. And I'm going to walk you through the process. And first of all, I'm going to create an empty project. There I'm going to put a container and we are going to apply some animations, uh, built-in animations in Flutterflow. Uh, on that container and then we are also going to check out one template Flutterflow template and we are going to make some animated changes in that template right so first of all let's go on dashboard and i'm going to create a project name so let's give it animation lecture and let's click on create new uh, empty project will be created let's see what we get i'm going to skip everything because my main purpose here to uh, just uh, play with animations in Flutterflow, right so i'm going to take one container i'm going to put it over here or let's say, let's do one thing in the column. Let's make this uh, main axis alignment dot center. So where is center? Yes, this is the center. And where is my con container? Yes, here is my container. And I'm going to, um, let's make it ball. So I'm going to make it circle and container property. This is a circle, right? Yes, circular shape. Uh, and let's give it a color so that we can see where our container is. So I'm going to give it black color. Yes, so I can see my container over here. But now uh, I also want my column to be expanded. So where is the alignment properties, horizontal and vertical? Yes, vertically aligned so that my container is at the center. I can see it just for design purpose. Let's make this color as black so that everything looks symmetric and good. Perfect. Now what we need to do, we need to apply some animations because now if I just click on this preview button, I can see that my animation is nothing. There is no animation. It is just going to pop, right? The screen is here, but I want it to have some fade in effect. So I'm going to click on this triangle icon that is this play button. And this icon is for animations. Now I'm going to click on this container and again, click on this triangle and click on add an animation. There will be two options on page load and on action trigger. So we will be working with on page load so that whenever the page loads, the animation is there. So let's click on on page load. And yes, so if I just let this everything be as it is, let everything be as it is and just click on preview all and let's see. So you can see a beautiful animation, very uh, good fade in kind of animation is there. You can check it any number of times, right? And now what I want is, let's see what are the animation curves and what are different properties that we have got here. So in the animation curve, we are having easy and out, which is automatically applied. Now. Uh, in all my Flutter application that I build using Flutterflow and using real Flutter, I use this easein for easein animation, right? Uh, I use this easein, so I'm going to use easein over here and I keep the duration a little bit low, 400 because it was very slow. So I'll keep it 400. Delay, I'm not going to give it, but you, if you want a delay, you can give it. Animatable properties, let's keep the initial opacity zero final opacity is one so that initial initially the opacity will be zero and slowly it is going to gradually it is going to increase and finally it will be 100%. You have already seen it in the preview, right? Now horizontal slide. Now what is this? So if I if I'm just going to click on preview all, it is staying at this position only from initially from initial to final, right? It is not moving here and there. But now if I just want it to come from some other direction and reach here, that we can do using this offsets. So let's put the initial offset as minus 100, right? Horizontal slide, this is horizontal slide. And now let's click on preview all. It is coming from left to the position that we have assigned to it, right? So minus 100, that, this means this, this will be minus 100 and this will be plus 100 because we have given it minus 100. Now if I just give it plus 100 and let's see what we get. It is coming from this direction, it is good. Now, if I just give the initial offset as minus 100 and final offset as plus 100, preview all, it is coming from there, from left, and it is going till right. This is good. But let's keep the final offset as zero so that it comes at the center. Now, in the vertical slide, let's move the initial offset as minus 100. Now, let's see where is my minus 100. So let's, and let's keep the initial offset as zero only so that I don't want any animation in horizontal for now. Let's click on preview all. It is coming from top. So that this means minus 100 is over here and plus 100 is at the bottom, right? So now if I just make initial offset also as minus 100, it should be somewhere coming from diagonal, right? Let's see. Yes, it is coming diagonally. Now let's uh, also manage the scale. 
So initially I want it to be of zero scale and it should gradually increase. Gradually it should take its position or size, right? Now let's see what we get. Yes, so it is like initially the size is zero and finally the size is one. This is good. And this was our ease in animation. You can use this six kinds of animation. You can play with them. So this uh, stuff we saw and we changed some animation properties and we saw that, okay, an animation can be applied. Now let's use it in a real template. So I'm going to go again on Flutterflow. I'm going to click on sign in and I'm going to take on Flutterflow template itself. Let's see the white theme. No, it doesn't suit me. I'm going to create a project. I'm going to use this fin wallet template and let's give the template uh, name as let's say wallet anime and let's click on this use sample. Let's wait. Yes, our project is being created. Let's see. Let's keep everything. And now if I, uh, let's see what are the different types of screens we have got. This is the register account. And I think there was one screen. Yes, 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 this my budget. So if I just click on this preview, let's see what we get. So you saw that there was no animation. It, it just popped in, right? And this is this this doesn't look good to the user eyes. It just drops the user experience. Now what I want is whenever I'm going to uh, load this screen, these two containers, you can see this income and income uh, containers, they should come from bottom and they should take this position or they should come from top and they should take this position, right? So now I'm going to go in this and I'm going to click on this container and I'm going to apply the animation. So it should be uh, on page load. Okay, already there is one animation, but I don't like it because the effect was near to null. So I'm going to click on ease in and I'm going to increase the time as 600 and everything looks good. Initial opacity, yes. So horizontally, horizontal will be, yes, it will be somewhere zero because I don't want any horizontal animation. For the initial offset, I'm going to make it minus 100 because in the last part we saw that minus 100 is at the top. So it will be coming from top, but we want it from bottom. So let's make it plus 100. This is good. And if you want it to have some scale animation, you can add that, but let it be as it is. And if I just say preview, yes, you can see it is coming from the bottom. It looked good, right? So let's click on this container and add an animation and on page load is in it will be and for the vertical slide it will be plus 100. Let's click on preview all. You can see both of them are coming over here but we did not change the uh, time duration. Let's make it 600. Now both of them will come simultaneously. Let's click on preview all. This is good. This is really good, right? Now you can apply some animation on this container and let's click on this add an animation on page load and for this let's uh, bring it from left to right. So it will be, and let's make it elastic somewhere and duration will be 600. And yes, everything looks good. Vertical slide will be zero, zero. And for the horizontal slide, I want it to be over here, minus 100. Let's click on preview all. Okay, elastic is not good. Let's make it ease in. Yes, let's see preview all. Yes, so these two containers are coming from the bottom and these this whole thing is coming from the left, right? Yes, it really looks good. Yes, this is good. And yeah, this was it. And you can play with these animations. So it was a very simple video. It was a very small video. And I just wanted to show you that this is the thing for animation. You can click on this triangle icon and you can play it on your own terms, right? And you can add it, add a simple animation to containers and you can also work with templates and you can change their animation, something like this. So I think that this is the best animation that we have got for this page. You can change it on your own terms. This is totally up to you, right? Why it is not working? I don't know. Let's click on this preview icon and let's see if it works over here also. It did not work. Okay, it is working. Yes, it worked. So let me just reload and let's see. Yes, it is working. So this was it. And I hope that this was interesting to you. So if you have any other demands from me uh, regarding Flutter or Flutter Flow or any other thing, you can put that in the comment section. I hope that you like this video. Till next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.